So let's talk about passing the NCLEX without studying and if that's even possible. And, you know, has somebody even done such a thing? But before I get started with that, though, let me go ahead and invite you to hit that thumbs up. If you find this video helpful, share it with um, with any of your classmates who you think that might find this interesting. And also, if you are looking for for uh, more videos related to being a nursing student or being a new nurse, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's get started with, um, with just this very basic question. Can you pass the NCLEX without studying? You know what? Yes, you can, because I've, I've heard of students who, who have done such a thing. Now, let me ask you another question. Is it going to be you that passes the NCLEX without studying? Eh, probably not. And, um, and that's not to, you know, that's not to say that you're dumb. That's not to say, you know, whatever. It is just that it is a stinking hard test. Um, the NCLEX is just hard. Um, there's no way around it. I do believe that the ones who, who did pass without, um, without studying were either, I mean, honestly, probably fell under two camps, either were incredibly lucky by the questions that they, that they got or in the camp of, they were just that smart. I mean, and, and honestly, there are people who, who, I mean, they're, they're, they're just smart. They're just, you know, they're just naturally gifted. And, um, you know, and I'm sure we've gone to school with some, uh, you know, I remember there's been a couple people I've gone to school with, you know, especially even in high school where they're sitting there, seems like, you know, they just have to sit at lectures, listen, boom, they get it. They're going to make an A. It's just, it's just not a, not a question about it. And honestly, those, I mean, there's nothing I can say about that. You know, I, I'm unfortunately not one of those, you know, not one of those people. I have to, I actually have to study, um, to, for me to do well. And, you know, that's, that's just what it is. If you are one of those people who that is just you, you are just that naturally gifted, then you know what? You'll, you'll probably do fine. But if you're, but if you are like most of us who you, you have to study, to do well in, in school, then I, I would imagine that the NCLEX is probably not going to be that different. Moving on, on this, on this discussion of passing the NCLEX without studying, I started thinking about why or how somebody could pass the NCLEX with, without studying or, or even let's just say to not studying to like barely, very, very minimal, minimal studying. And there were a couple of things that I found now or that, that started kind of crossing my mind on how they could pull that off. The first reason is because is that they actually learned the material in school. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute, like I, I learned the material, I passed, I did X, Y, and Z, I'm making straight A's. No, no, I mean, there's a difference between passing, like school, passing tests and whatnot, and actually learning the, the material. Like, you know, they're, they're making connections. You know, they're not, um, you know, like you, for, so for instance, like you can cram and probably pass some exams. I, that's possible. I think that's very possible, very doable. You could cram and probably pass some exams. So you're going to cram, you're going to pass the exam, and then right after the exam, you'll forget everything that you ever learned. And so that, uh, that's not actually learning the, the material. That's, preparing for and passing an exam, but that's not actually learning. And for a subject like nursing or an area like nursing where everything kind of builds on itself in some fashion, that makes it very difficult towards the end because it's almost like, you know, in classes, you kind of then set like foundations 
And so if you're missing some of your foundations, then then that makes everything else a little, you know, a, a little shaky. And so that was the first thing um, that I think um, makes a huge difference. The second thing is they went to a really good nursing nursing program. There's a lot of really good nursing programs out there. There's also a lot of very crappy ones too. So I think um, I think going to a good program where they're preparing you and making sure that you're truly prepared to pass the NCLEX um, makes a huge makes a huge difference. And then the last thing is kind of like what I already mentioned before: they're naturally gifted. That now that doesn't mean that um, you can't do well if you're not naturally gifted. And that also doesn't mean that you can't do better than them in certain things. It just just means that certain things are going to come easier um, to certain people than others. Now let's get into what what should you do? What should you do? You have the end class coming up. What is what is in your best interest? Your best interest is signing up for an NCLEX prep. Um, a good NCLEX prep. Go to nursemoneytalk.com forward slash um, NCLEX prep, sign up for a good one um, that will prepare you for um, for taking and passing um, the NCLEX. And if you're very early on in your program, then I would encourage you to avoid situation where you're cramming. Actually focus on learning the material um, and getting good study habits and whatnot because that will help you later on once you reach the end to be more successful. So that is all I have got. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections below. If not, I will catch you very soon in that next video.